Hello, thanks for watching this video. Hokkaido Sustainability Matters. This topic is MRC7, Material and Resources Credit 7, Furniture and Medical Furnishings. This credit only applies to healthcare. It contains three options and it is determined by cost. It applies to all freestanding furniture and medical furnishings such as mattress, forms, panel fabrics, cubicle curtains, window coverings, other textiles, including the building catwalk and millwalk, even if they were manufactured off-site. Option 1. Minimal chemical content. Although this credit is based on cost, but for this option 1, you need to determine the component's percentage by its weight. Therefore, weight first, then determine its cost. All components that consist at least 5 percentage by weight must contain less than 100 ppm at least 4 out of the 5 chemical groups let me display it on the screen first urea formaldehyde second heavy metals such as mercury gallium lead and autonomy the first three, I believe I mentioned it in previous MRC6 already. And here is something else. And turn money. <laughs> Number three. Hex bellet chromium in planted finishes. Our standard here, EU RHS. European Union Directive on the Restriction of Hazardous Substances. Number four, stain and non-stick treatments derived from PFCS, perforant components, it including the PFOA, perforant acid. Sorry more for my poor pronunciation. This PFOA, sometimes we call it C8, as I know. In 2018, Taiwan's TSMC replaced all of it in their factories. Number 5. Aided antimicrobial treatments. I just complete the option 1. Next, option 2. Testing and modeling of chemical content. Very similar to what I just mentioned. Let me repeat it again. All components that consisted at least 5% by weight must contain less than 100 ppm. At least 2 out of the 5 chemical groups. what I just mentioned, <laughs> the same groups. Okay, new furniture or medical furnishing assembles followed two standards, NSI slash BFMA M7.1 and NSI BFMA E3. Okay, NSI, I believe you know that already, American National Standard Institute. BIFMA stands for the Business and Institutional Furniture Manufacturers Association. Salvaged and reused furniture more than one year old at the time of your using, they must meet the requirements for any site applied paints, coatings, adhesives, and sealants. 
that's option two. Okay. Now let's start with option three. Mirant attribute assessment of products. You need to meet at least one of the following criteria. EPD, environmental product decoration at least cradle to gate. This option three contains two parts. One part is from MRC2. Another part is from MRC3. Okay, let me explain the MRC2 a little bit again. <laughs> MRC2, Building Product Disclosure and Optimization, EPD Environmental Product Decorations on page 514, Lead Before Reference Guide. First, Product Specific Decoration, ISO. 14044 cradle to gate its value should be calculated as one quarter next epd iso and en several standards also cradle to gate third party certification type 3 sometimes we say pcr product category rule for industry-wide generic EPD, it was a half. For product-specific type 3 EPD, it was 100%. Next part. MRC3, Building Product Disclosure and Optimization, Sourcing of Raw Materials on the Before Reference Guide, page 526. Everything here worth one hundred percentage, and five of them. First, extended producer responsibility. As I mentioned, it worth one hundred percentage here. However, in MRC three, it only worth a half. I checked the. Uh, Lead before furniture and medical furnishing calculator vision 02. It really 100 percentage here. Next, bio best materials, sustainable agriculture network, sustainable agriculture standard. Very cute name. STM test method D. 6866. Number three, wood products. FSC Forest Stewardship Council and its COC Chain of Custom D. Number four, material reuse. Salvaged, refurbished, or reused products. Number five, recycled content. Post consumer recycled content plus a half of pre-consumer recycled content based on cost. If you would like to understand MRC2 and MRC3, please refer to my previous videos. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. See you next time. Bye-bye.